Hello, today I'm gonna show you the first example of a plugin module make with Gecko. This is a, a plugin maker for VCV Rack plugin. So the first step is to set uh, the main parameters of the plugin, such as uh, the slug, the plugin name, tags, and so on. If you need to learn more, about this um, plugin uh, parameters, you can uh, look at the VCV owner manual. There is information about this in the JEC owner manual too, in the prerequisites section. As this step is uh, pretty annoying, you can create a project with um, the plugin setting already uh, filled with your uh, main parameters, then you you will not have to enter each time the manufacturer name, website name, and some uh, parameters that never change uh, if you you export plugin for uh, the same company. I just uh, finish the website name, and we're gonna set the panel. The only field that you need to to set is um, the, the name of the, the SVG file for your panel. Uh, I make a mistake. Like this. And uh, you click uh, this button to transfer this on the panel editor. The size of the panel is automatically uh, calculated from the width of the SVG file. I'm gonna add a filter. And now I'm gonna have also uh, a knob. I'm gonna duplicate this and send it to the frequency, send it to the resonance. I'm gonna give uh, another name for the parameters. Um, this isn't needed, but uh, pretty recommended as it makes uh, the patch much more easy to, to read select both and transfer these on the panel editor. If I pass my mouse over the controller a tooltip appears showing me that this is the frequency knob oh, the resonance knob of course. I can zoom in it gives me more accuracy to set the position and of course I can uh, zoom out um, there are also two spin boxes to set the position. Now we're gonna add the inputs. Oh, module input. I'm gonna send it to frequency and this one to resonance. I can set the parameter name. So frequency input and resonance input. Then I select both and transfer these on the panel editor. The tooltip show me that this one is the frequency and this one is the resonance input. I can zoom in and set the position with accuracy. I can use the shortcuts G and H key to zoom in and zoom out. And uh, now we're gonna add the input level and the input. So this is the audio input. I'm gonna call it audio input. Uh, I'm gonna use a multiplier. What I'm going to do is multiply the, the input by the value of a knob. And then the, this knob will control the input level. I'm going to add the, the knob. And I'm going to send it to the multiplier. I also have to, to set uh, the name of the, the knob. You can see that uh, the maximum value is set to 1 and the minimum value is set to 0. Then when we will use this uh, we'll, uh, with VCV, um, the knob at the maximum will uh, multiply 
the input by 1 and at the minimum it will multiply the input by 0. I go now select both and send this. I up the input and the input level. Uh, of course I can zoom with the shortcut and set the position. What we're gonna do now is add the the output, uh, the audio output. So I'm gonna call it audio output, and it will receive the filter output, of course. Um, now we have to transfer these on the panel editor and set the position. As you can see, we would like to have this at the same uh, the same height. So we're gonna use the spin box. What I'm gonna do is uh, copy the position of this one and paste in this one. Click send position, and it's, it is okay. What we have to understand now is that we have to to send to the DSP blocks of Gecko um, signals that are going from minus one to one. So this is um, a smaller amplitude uh, than the, the usual uh, signal of VCV and we have to divide it by 5. I'm going to use a divider, send it to the LP filter input. Add the double blocks, set its value to 5 and then the input uh, will be divided by 5. Now we're gonna multiply the output because as we have divided by 5 the input we have to multiply the output by 5 and we get um, uh, an adapted signal for VCV. I use a double block that has a value of 5 because I have duplicated this uh, from uh, the other one. The project seems complete, so I'm gonna save it. I go into the projects folder and give it a name, of course. And then uh, press uh, save. What we're gonna do now is uh, export the, the project then uh, it will generate all the, the needed files uh, to compile the, the plugin. The, the name of the, 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 the plugin file is the one you have given in the plugin setting, just uh, right here. Then I'm gonna export this with this button and go into the output folder. This is my my plugin folder called called filters the make file the sources graphics file for the widget and the panel now we have to compile it so we're gonna copy this and paste it into the the plugin repository of a vcv rack For the next step, uh, it depends on your uh, on your uh, operating system. I go into my plugin, and oh, this is there is an error. This is because the the filter tag is not right with uppercase letters, so I'm gonna correct it, fix it. I write filter with uppercase letters and then I have to delete this one and re-export it. So this is the, the same step than before, copy this and paste it into the plugin repository. Now we just have to make and it is working 
now I have to, to open my uh, VCV rack software. Show you the module. At our filter. Perfect. Little update. Um, I forget to divide the CV input because uh, the CV input of the DSP box in Gecko also accept uh, value that are going from minus one to one. Then I have to divide it by five, just like the audio input. Now um, I have to use the, the same routine, re-export, copy the plugin and paste it into the plugin repository. Now this is the compile routine, go into the plugin folder, make works and uh, go into the rack folder and then run perfect this is the the audio test of this plugin um, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this little example and uh, also hope that uh, this was understandable even if my English is pretty bad See you next time. Goodbye.